Hi, my name is Manu Alikani. I am Dean and Professor at CITOR Academy, and I'd like to welcome you to another session of CITOR channel. The topic of today's discussion is the third order view analysis, or what that is commonly known as TORC. To understand the third order analysis, let's start with a very simple system. Two brackets. Remember, you cannot have third order moments or couple appear in your system unless you have two brackets. With one bracket and one button, you will not have third order couples. Now, let's look at the different shape of wires and how that affect the third order analysis. For simplicity, assume we have a piece of round or rectangular flexible wire that has been placed between two brackets. In first order and second order view, there is no bend inside the wire. Therefore, you didn't expect any moments or forces appear in the first or second order view. Now, twist your system and look at it from the side. What happens if we have a round wire or rectangular wire and these two brackets are completely aligned. If the brackets are completely aligned, you would say round or rectangular wire in the third order, you should not produce any additional moment or forces in the system, and you're right. But what happens if one of the brackets is angulated in compare with the other one? And you put a piece of round wire in the system. Do you think any force or couple appear in the system? You're absolutely correct. The brackets cannot twist the round wire. Therefore, even though the bracket in the third order view are twisted, they will not produce any couple or forces in that system. The wire in the first order and second order was passive. In the third order view, the round wire will stay passive. Now, what happens if you have a full size rectangular wire in your system? In the first order and second order view, the wire was completely passive, but in the third order, due to the one of the bracket is more angulated in compared with the other bracket, the wire twisted. Do you think forces and couples appear in the system? Yes, you are right. Engaging the wire in one side in the bracket is easy, but when you are coming to engage the wire in the other bracket, you will see that you cannot engage it unless you twist it, the wire, and depends on the angulation, and you insert it inside the bracket. That twist produces two equal and opposite moments in both sides of the wire. Again, I'm repeating that, two equal and opposite moments. In another word, any times that you are twisting a wire between two teeth inside the mouth in the clinic, with this hope that one of them is going to receive your desired movement labiolingually, remember the other tooth, the adjacent tooth, will receive exactly opposite and equal movement that may be desirable or undesirable. What happens if our wire has a bend in the first or second order view? For simplicity, let's look at the flexible wire, round wire, that has been inserted between two brackets and it achieve a bend due to the angulation of the bracket in the second order view. This bend can be in the center or can be off center. If it is in the center, you remember from the two couple system, you wouldn't expect any forces in the second order view, just two moments. If you twist your system and look at it from the third order view, there is no forces in third order view. There is no twist in the wire because it's round wire. Do you expect any couple in your system? You are absolutely right. There will be no couple or forces appear in the third order view. Now, what happened in the second order view? The wire adopt a off-center V-band. Now, vertical forces appear in your system. If you look at the third order view of this system, you will notice that these vertical forces do not pass through the center of resistance of the tooth. Depends on the angulation of the tooth, this distance can be more or less. Because these forces are not passed through the center of resistance, there will be a moment that try to change the angulation of the tooth buccolingually. Do you think this phenomenon occurs independent of each other? Means 
a moment that appears in this tooth is irrelevant to the moment that appears in the other tooth or they are dependent on each other or they affecting each other you are again right they don't affect each other each one of the tooth they don't know what is the angulation of the other tooth the wire has not been twisted this moment are not produced because of the twist in the wire appears just because force does not pass through the central resistance of the tooth and because you have a round wire in the system these two teeth can rotate independently depends on the distance between the line action and the center of resistance of the tooth what happen if we put a full size rectangular wire flexible and that wire in the second or first order band receives a off center or center band how that going to affect our system to answer these questions wait for the part two of this discussion i hope you enjoyed today's session of c channel uh, if you have not subscribed to our channel please go ahead and subscribe and don't forget to press the like button